Okay. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It is Josh here. And as you can see before me, I have the Splatoon Japanese art book. Um, it is pretty amazing. And it's also pretty thick. So, because it is such a large book, I think we're going to do two videos for this. And actually, I should show you guys this. There's a really cool effect on the front cover. There is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there are little glossy, transparent ink splatters that sort of shine when you move the book around in light. I just thought that was a cool touch. Here's the spine. It's a very colorful book. And here's the back. I really like, I really like the way the book looks. But I'm sure that you guys want to see what's on the inside. So let's check it out. It's just going over all the like um, the glossary information. So we're gonna start off with artwork. Got a really neat two-page spread of all the inklings doing their thing. I really, really love this artwork. This looks really cool. This should have actually been the cover. No, well, maybe not. It's just cool artwork. <laughs> Some more artwork of everybody getting messy. I should actually point out, um, I have not really thoroughly looked through this book myself because I've been waiting to do it for an ASMR video. So, we're kind of seeing this for the first time together. <laughs> There's a picture of Callie and Marie playing on their Nintendo 3DS systems. I like, I really like Judd's face over here. Oh wow, I really like this. That's, I want a poster of that artwork. You know, it's weird. I almost kind of get a Rocket Power vibe from this artwork. I don't know if you guys watched Rocket Power on Nickelodeon in the day. I like the palm trees. Some of this artwork was um, uploaded online from Nintendo. And some of it is just kind of exclusive to the art book. Some really good shots of Callie and Marie. I'm at, <laughs> she's drinking lemonade. Some early shots of them as kids. Kids or squids. Hey, you know what I just realized? We never see Callie and Marie turn into squids. I wonder what that would look like. There's a picture from the Japanese promotion they did with uh, some squid anime. This is kind of neat artwork. Let me hold that up closer. I like that. Oh, these are some sketches of inklings visiting different places in the world. 
almost like little postcards. <laughs> in the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but in the bus, Judd is actually sitting in the passenger side. And then over here, we got all the album cover work, cover art, I should say, for all the music. I think it was really neat how they did that. Like these are the guys who make the music you hear. Judd is jamming out to the tunes. There is the, uh, we're in the 3D artwork section now. So now we're gonna start seeing some 3D stuff. This is of course the, um, the cover of the game for the box art. Ooh, I really like that as well on the left here. <laughs> it's a very ominous picture over here. Just the squid eyes. <laughs> I really, I really like this one as well. This one is uploaded online, but it's um, it's rendered really well to the point where they look like they're toys. Is another one with the girls. I like the blue shading. This one as well. Seems like a lot of the 3D artwork was shown on the internet, more so than the 2D. Let me get this nice and even in the frame for you. Splatoon is just such a, a very beautiful game because of how colorful it is. The spine of this uh, book is still very new. This is very neat. We got some sketches of the characters. <laughs> Fashion. Some boy and girl fashion going on here. I'm not really a fan of the schoolboy, schoolgirl look. I think it looks kind of lame. Um, I also think it sort of clashes with the game because the game is supposed to be like all cool and stuff. And this just looks a little, I don't know. Oh, wow. Wow. What is going on on the bottom of this page? Let's get a closer shot of some of these. This book has a lot of stuff put in it. <laughs> little squids. Just little stuff. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. <laughs> I like how you can see the full cycle from squid to kid. Getting into Callie and Marie again. It says C O Colors. Yeah, so now we're looking at artwork done for Callie and Marie. <laughs> Some pretty cool stuff here. I think it's kind of silly how they have sushi on their head. It's kind of funny though. Got some little poses for the way they dance. Or I guess I could say the way that they are animated when they're talking to you. Little stuff down there. So a lot of people seem to like Marie more than Callie. I don't really like either of them. <laughs> but if I had to choose, I would go with um, Callie because she makes more of an effort. Oh, wow. 
Okay. So this page is pretty great. There's a lot of early concept art for Callie and Marie. Different designs, different clothing. Ah, this guy is great. Is his name Captain Cuttlefish? Unfortunately, I forgot his name, but it's, he's pretty wonderful. I like how they've even got artwork here for what his, his uh, shawl or his tank top thingy should look like. Pretty neat stuff here. Oh wow, look at this over here. They made a little drawing for what he should look like if he sneezes. You know a book is done very well when they're actually making concept art for when the character sneezes. So, Let's zoom in a little bit here. There we go. We got some stuff for Judd, or as he's called in Japan, Judge, which kind of defeats the pun. But uh, there's some pretty fantastic little bits of artwork for him. Um, I mean, my goodness, look at that. He's squished between the ink percentages. I'm guessing that was like a little early thing they were planning on doing. Instead of him holding up the flag, they would just squish him in the middle. That is pretty brilliant. <laughs> I like him snuggled up against the cone. There's this guy. Oh my gosh. So, um... As you can see down here, there were some really drastic early designs for this guy. To be totally honest with you, I like his early designs way better. The pufferfish look, I think, would have fit his military attitude better. I'm going to zoom in on a few of these. Let's zoom it in. Yeah, so look at those. Those are pretty excellent. They could have done some cool animation where he shrivels up and then gets fat again. There's some neat stuff there. I really like this early black and white sketch of the weapon shop. Hmm. This is a... This one's a rather strange early design too. Smoking a pipe. They probably wouldn't have gotten away with that in the final game. Silver on this side. Got some early sketches for the, um, this girl, what, I can't remember what, sh what shop she runs. She must be, She's not clothing. She's not shoes. She's not weapons. Hats? Is there a hat shop? I think she runs the hat shop. Got some neat little doodles for Jalonzo. <laughs> I like those. But I really, really like this little sketch where you can see what's inside of him. It's kind of weird. Some good stuff. I'm just going to keep it zoomed in until we get to a page that has a lot of stuff to show at once. Right now, right now we're just going through the characters. So this guy's... Um, his early designs were very strange. 
And for some reason, this really shady guy in the back alley only has one concept sketch. He's got very skinny legs. <laughs> it's sort of weird to see him standing up because he's always sitting down, so he looks really skinny. His name is Downey in the game, in the Japanese game. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out a bit so we can see more things at once. There we go. We got like a little glow in the dark, Jalonzo. Well, I guess that's not really Jalonzo, is it? He's just this sort of random little fellas that are all over the plaza. We've got this zapfish. I really like that. Now we're getting into octolings, the octarians. Oh, this is really neat. Um, and I think this, um, I think you're going to start seeing just how great this guide is. Well, not guide, but art book. Because they really show just like so many sketches. And it's a lot of stuff that wasn't even used. I mean, I would love a book like this for Super Mario games or The Legend of Zelda. This is just showing a lot of various little designs. Kind of stuff you could look at for ages. All their, their weaponry. Their shields. Get all these things. I like, um, it's really funny when you can look at all these early, all these early sketches because there's some of them that I like more than the one they went with. I like these because they've got a little, a little boat anchor on them. It's pretty neat. <laughs> some of these sketches are too good to not zoom in on. I like how fat some of these guys were. <laughs> it's pretty great. It's different little poses. Some little ideas for animation. I mean, you can tell they really put most of the stuff they had to sketch to make this game into this book. Some uh, some sketches for the the sniper sniper enemies. We've got uh, <laughs> there's a lot of cool stuff to look at there. I really like these guys. I think they have a pretty funny look to them. Some artwork for the, um, the octolings. The girls. <clears throat> but I think down below them is actually an even better enemy. The, the little stamp guy, he is so adorable. He's got little alternate facial expressions that he could make. You can see the backs, sides. And then here we've got those really weird missiles that chase after you. So these are a bunch of them that they didn't use, obviously. Oh my gosh. This one right over here, this little pink bullet with legs, and she's wearing high heels. <laughs> How fantastic is that? That would have been amazing. I also like this one 
with the little tentacles around the sides. That would have been neat. And over here, we've got a lot of the little sucky things that eat up the ink and cling to the walls. And once again, there's just a lot of neat options here. It, in fact, I think some of these uh, some of these designs would have been a lot better than the one they went with. So that's the one they went with. And it has a lot less personality, I think. And there's the design. Right there is the design of the one they went with for the bullet. I think that's still pretty good. Okay. So... Some of these pages are just a bunch of very, I mean, very minimal changes made to these things. So now we're getting into the bosses. Bosses in the game. This game has really, really fun boss battles. I was a really big fan of them. I loved the seaweed that hangs off of this boss over on the right side. This boss was pretty terrifying. They've got a lot of concept sketches for this one with his big teeth. <laughs> He's like a little lamprey. Oh yeah. I guess I should have mentioned that there would be spoilers in this, but I think that kind of goes without saying. This is the final boss, which is a really exciting one. So now we're just getting into the renders of all the weaponry. Lots of, um, Lots of weapons that are kind of similar. I like this. Shows all the different brands of weaponry, the logos. I mean, just stuff like that is really cool to have in a book. <laughs> this game does have a lot of weapons. Now we're in the sub-weapon category. Let's see, what are my favorite sub-weapons? Well, I really like the little boat. I think the boat is really fun. I love the sprinkler. A lot of people don't properly use the beacons. I wish people would use those as a team. I do like this little shower. It's kind of cool to use that and then hide behind it and shoot. The bubble is a really, really handy sub-weapon. Special weapon, I mean. Now, got some conceptual images, some sketches for the weapons. Hmm. I'm sort of ashamed to admit it, but I'm not really sure if this one's in the game. Some of these might not be their final designs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's really cool. So instead of it being a little boat that would travel, at one time they had it as a little like RC car. But even cooler, they actually had it as like a little cruise ship. Like it, it literally looked like a little boat in the early designs. <laughs> now this is definitely something that's different as well. They changed the look of the rocket. It used to actually look like a little rocket pack. 
There's the final design. To be honest with you, I think I like that, that update a bit more, even though that rocket's pretty cool. I think this kind of fits the game's design a bit better. Getting into all the hats now, the gear. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that. There's that very strange squid girl anime thing. I wish they would have given us some DLC costumes that were more Western. Because obviously these two are very Japanese inspired. Here's a look at all the shirts. Some good shirts in this game. The neat thing about this guide is that um, when it originally came out, you could see stuff that wasn't even in the game yet. So, sort of an early look at DLC that would come out in the future. I like that shirt. Oh, that's neat. It's like a leopard print. I like the tank tops. I really like the leather jacket. That's pretty cool. The white one's kind of cool too. <laughs> tropical shirt. I wear the tropical shirt from time to time when I'm playing. I like this one too. It's got a little, little jellyfish on it. Well, so that does it for the clothes. We're into the shoes now. I really don't like many of the shoes in this game. I think a lot of the shoes are actually kind of ugly, but um, I'm okay with these. They look like flounder shoes. Those are okay. <sighs> so I like these. And I like the gold ones. I hate the ones that look like Converse. I actually think Converse are really ugly shoes. I hate those. Those are hideous. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would wear those. Yeah, I mean, in the sequel, they could definitely use with some better shoe fashion. Those are oddly okay to me, the white ones. We're still in gear. We're still looking at gear now, but it's like concept artwork. Just some sketches they did for the gear. Get to see the labels, the textures that they put over them. It's kind of neat. I like that. Those are little sketches there. I like how you can see the eyes through it. Puffy vest. Oh god. <laughs> wow. These shoes look like little squids. It's funny though because like you see this, you know, and the pink ones, and you think that those should make it into the game. But instead they went with this design. <sighs> At least the little squids look kind of cute. So there's the uh, final bits of the shoes. And um, that's about the halfway mark of the guide. So in part two, we're going to pick it up here. And we're going to be checking out 
the level design, which I'm sure is going to be really, really amazing. So, um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Splatoon art book. As you can tell so far, it's very nice. It has so much cool stuff to look at. And uh, yeah, I will be back very soon with the second half of it. And I hope you guys check it out. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and like and favorite the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.